Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're doing the subscriber base review. I am so psyched. We've got three great bases lined up. It was hard to pick the top three, man. I had like seven that I was about to show and I'm like, wow, this video is way too long. So I really had to slim it down. And, uh, you know, everyone who sent in a base, you were all good. Here is the top three. This is the Town Hall 8 base I chose. Really like this base from Tom Meets Zizu of Apotheosis. Now let's look at what you want in a Town Hall 8 base. You want a central clan castle. He's got that. He's got a central Barb King as well, which helps a lot now that Barb King is pretty good on defense. He's got central Dark Elixir. That's good. Now let's look at the defenses. He has triangulated mortars. Those are perfect. You want them in a triangle so they cover uh, evenly. They cover your whole base evenly. His wizard towers, which should also be triangulated, they are, but they're a little lopsided. There's more to the bottom. Sometimes that's okay, but I would like to see that completely triangulated on this base, so possibly the wizard towers more spread out. The air defense is spread out perfectly. I like that a lot. But another problem I have with the wizard towers is I like them to be um, protecting two storages. So I would like each of these bottom wizard towers to each be covering a gold storage and an elixir storage, similar to how that wizard tower on the top is defending two storages. That can't always happen, but I believe it could be worked into this base, possibly. Um, that's up to Tom. Also, he's got big bombs in front of uh, those mortars on the top. See, there's little gaps there. And I believe there's the third bomb is on the bottom here in front of this bottom Tesla. I like those placements. Those are going to funnel small troops like barbs and archers in there. And they're just going to go boom when they're going for the storages. Word, that's awesome. It's a really good job, Tom. I love to see original base designs. I know this is hard for some people, especially people who haven't been playing as long. But I love to see people just trying. And especially when you succeed. I mean... When you make a base and it works well and it looks nice, the reward is awesome. You know, you feel good about it. So let's check out the next base. Also, you can see here, this is my base uh, I've been messing around with. This is kind of just a not real serious base. It doesn't really protect loot that well, but I've been getting some good replays. I'll probably show you guys soon. <laughs> um, I often get attacked like three times and... Most, I'd say, two out of three people go for the Dark Elixir instead of the Town Hall. They have to make a choice. Either go for, you know, one or the other. And most of them go for the Dark Elixir and they don't get anywhere near 50%. Here's the next winner. Nick from Tidal Rage. This is a great base. I really like this. So, Nick's the Town Hall 10. He's got great defenses. Um, he's on his way to being maxed, but he's got some of the more important ones maxed like Expos and Inferno Towers as well as Wizard Towers so as far as farming goes he's got a pretty mean defense his clan castle it's in the middle I like that it could possibly be um, a little pushed down maybe I'm not sure yeah it could be pushed down a little bit that might help it be unlurable but uh, it's pretty good as is Great separation on the storages. So like the elixir storages, you'll see they're separated well. The gold storage is in more of a vault format where they're more towards the center and most attackers aren't gonna get that far anyway. So there's not much to worry about. Although the wizard towers aren't completely, you know, in a square, I do like it. They're focused a little more on the bottom, which has a nice look to it at the very least. The top wizard towers are actually a little more useful. They're covering two elixir storages. The bottom ones are really only covering one storage each. But he's got some mean defenses behind those storages, those inferno towers, and those are going to cover everything pretty good. Um, let's see, the core looks like he has some blank space in there. And when he did send me his base with the traps, he didn't seem to have anything in the core in those spots. That is because this is a transformer base. He can take the Dark Elixir out, move it somewhere else, and put the Town Hall in there, which is pretty awesome. And I imagine he puts his heroes in there as well, where the uh, where the gold storages are now. So, as far as the transformer base goes, this is pretty great. You can go on the fly to a pushing base, and it will probably do great in uh, 
neither pushing or farming. I really like the base, Nick. Uh, good design. Really good use of walls here, Nick. I like how you have three to four defenses in most compartments. That makes a really segmented base, and that's what I like to see. I don't like compartments with you know five or more buildings in it, besides the core, of course. My favorite part of the base is that it's a transformer. You can move that dark elixir out there, and there's enough room to get the town hall in there. I believe you would also take those gold storages out and have the heroes in the core as well. So on the fly, this can turn into a pushing base. That's awesome because that's in high demand. People really like that. It's good to be able to just transform in a, in a minute to a pushing base. I mean, it's not hard to change a base anymore with the base edit mode, but still, do, being able to do it really quickly is so nice. So, good job, Nick. I love the design. Next, we're going to Unity Titans. I got a picture of a base from Yapper here on Twitter, and I loved it. And this is a great design. You see it's a Town Hall 9 and it is an anti-hog base, but it's not blatant. It's not ugly. Some some anti-hog bases don't look that great, but this is great. It's subtle. You can't tell just by looking at it, but it does have a hog ring with these storages. So that breaks the link between the outside defenses and the core. The core doesn't have many defenses, but it has the essentials. It has the Dark Elixir, the Expos, and the Clan Castle. Great use of the core. It's only, let's see, six. It's only eight tiles by eight tiles, and I love that. Just a little room, a little extra room to put four Teslas in there. There are four Teslas in there I saw in the original picture he sent me. So I love Teslas in the core. That's great. You know I love that. Besides that, the other defenses are pretty well placed. I don't like that they're uh, not a complete square with the air defenses and the wizard towers, but they do work in this design. It would be hard to make them a complete square. And the only other thing, I don't like defenses outside, but it works for this base. Those defenses, those archer towers and cannons on the outside, that kind of bugs me, but uh, I'm not sure where else you can put them. I suppose if you're going to have your heroes sleeping all the time, you could replace your heroes with either the archer tower or the cannon and then the other defense may have to stay there for the sake of space but altogether yep great design I really like it it's really original you know I haven't seen a base like this before and it looks nice that's a big part of base design it's having a base that looks nice I mean this has really good walls so that makes a base look good in itself but the design, the symmetry, it's great. So really good job, man. I really appreciate your your original design. Next, we're going to look at Matthew from NZ10. Trademark. This is an original clan war base, Town Hall 10. These are always good to see because it gives you ideas. And it's given me ideas. It is symmetrical from right to left. I love that. The storages are under walls, most of them. But they're only under the first layer, just to slow down troops a little bit. I love the giant bomb placement right north of the town hall. That's going to devastate hogs, but it's also going to devastate any army coming from the north, which is probably where people are going to attack. At a first glance, it kind of looks longer to attack from the north to get the town, I mean, to attack from the south. So that's how I would attack. I would go from the north and I would hit all those big bombs. Um... The clan castle is lurable. I don't think you could change that with the way the walls are set up right now. Maybe if you push the defenses out a little bit, you could possibly get it unlurable, but that's not always the biggest, you know, concern. He does have central Teslas, which I love, central big bombs, and very well placed infernos. Those infernos can't be frozen with one free spell, and that's a real positive in base design. So, Matt, great design. I really like it. I would actually use that in Glan Wars. This is very good. And I think that'll give a lot of people, you know, ideas for designs. Sometimes it's hard to make a new Clan War design and uh, use a base that you find that you like or take a base you find and adapt it to what you want it to be. I do that sometimes. You can take features of a base that you like and change some others and come out with something that's that is unique it is special and it is yours it's really exciting to make 
an original design. Everyone should do it. I know it's a little intimidating at first, and you don't always know where to start or where to end, but just do it with your clanmates, your friends, share pictures, share, you know, what you come up with, and uh, you will enjoy it, and, you know, it's a lot of fun when you make something, and it works. It's, uh, it's great. When you see a base defend, or, you know, prevent three stars, or save your loot, it's, uh, it's a really cool experience, so I would encourage you all to try it out. All right, great basis today, guys. I really appreciate it. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.